So hello, my name is Mark Mendelssohn, I'm an infectious diseases doctor, and I'm going to, to today I'm going to show you how to put on and take off personal protective equipment when you're looking after a patient with COVID-19. We also term this donning, the putting on, and doffing, the taking off. So the most important thing to know about donning and doffing personal protective equipment is that what you do must be done slowly, it must be done thoughtfully and with purpose. So the putting on of personal protective equipment, the first thing we do is we ensure that our hands are clean. So we perform hand hygiene. This can be done with soap and water. I'm gonna be using alcohol-based hand rub today. And we basically use one to three mils of this. And we start by using our fingertips and then we go through the stages of hand hygiene to ensure our hands are really clean. And this takes about 20 seconds. You can sing your favorite tune, you can sing happy birthday, whatever you like. Keep rubbing until it's dry, and as I said, around 20 seconds. So the first piece of personal protective equipment that I'm going to put on is an apron. Now you may be using a gown as well, that's fine. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using an apron. And I'm going to put the apron on. It goes over my head. There will be a surface on the outside that can become contaminated. The inner surface will remain uncontaminated. I'm going to take the ties and just behind my back and make a very loose bow, which can either be undone or can be ripped when I'm taking it off. The next piece of equipment I'm going to put on is an N95 respirator for this demonstration. If you're not performing aerosol procedures, and that would be so normal care, one would use just a surgical mask. The N95 respirator is used for those procedures where an aerosol may be generated. So when you're taking the nasopharyngeal or, and oropharyngeal swabs, or if you're intubating the patient. So I'm going to be using, demonstrating N95 respirator today. There are two straps on these. So you would put on the respirator. One strap goes below the ears, the other strap above the ears. And then we mold the respirator at the top, has a metal band, so we mould it onto the nose and we make sure that the surfaces are aligned to the face and then we can test by breathing in and breathing out. And when we breathe out, we're trying to ensure that there is no air leakage. And just take your time, it's important that you take your time at this stage to be absolutely sure that it's well moulded. Because um, I'm going to be doing a procedure which has aerosolization, I'm also going to be using face protection. I'm going to be demonstrating the use of goggles. You may, if you don't have goggles, also be using a full face visor. And I'll come on to say why that's important when we're taking it off. But for this, I'm going to be using goggles. And I'm going to make sure that these goggles go onto my face with a good fit. It's important to ensure that there's no hair in the seal to, to make a good fit and that it's comfortable. The last piece of equipment I'm going to be putting on are your gloves. I'm going to be using non-sterile gloves for this. And that is the donning or the putting on procedure for personal protective equipment for a patient that you're looking after with COVID-19. So I'm now going to show you how to take off this equipment safely. So for this, you're going to need an appropriate bin to place the waste. And again, you want to be sure that you're doing this in a slow, controlled manner. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the gloves. If that's because of all this equipment, the most likely thing to be the most heavily contaminated are the gloves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the first glove. And so now exposing the non-exposed part. 
And then for the second glove, I'm going to place my finger underneath into the non-contaminated part and just bring it through. So this is now uncontaminated and I'm going to place it in the bin. I'm going to actually perform hand hygiene now because I've taken off the most potentially contaminated part. And so I'm going to just perform hand hygiene. The critical thing about hand hygiene when you're taking it off is to ensure that you do hand hygiene at the end. I'm going to be doing hand hygiene in between each step, just in this demonstration, but the critical thing is that at the end, I also think it's important personally that one does it after the gloves come off, just in case you've touched the glove. The next piece of equipment that I'm going to take off in this demonstration is the apron or the gown. If you are wearing a face visor, which comes down low under the face, if you've got an apron that you cannot rip off, it's very difficult to get an apron over your head with a big visor on. And in those circumstances, we would suggest that the visor comes off first and then the apron. In this demonstration, I'm wearing goggles and I'm going to show you first how to take off the apron. I'm going to undo the straps. I'm not going to touch the front of the apron at all. Move it away from my body. And I'm now touching the uncontaminated surface. I'm going to pull it down and over my head. And then I'm just going to bring that surface up and place it in the bin. I'm going to perform a little bit of hand hygiene now. And the next piece of equipment I'm going to be taking off are the goggles. You do not want to touch the front of the goggles. Take your hands behind your head, find the strap and remove the goggles in one flow and place them on a surface where they can then be cleaned. Finally, I'm going to be taking off the mask. And the same goes for the mask. We do not want to touch the front of the mask. So I'm going to go behind my head. I'm going to take off the lower one and then the upper band. Remove them from my face and discard. If you are working in a COVID ward where you're seeing multiple patients continuously, you can keep that N95 respirator on, if that's what you're wearing, or the, or the surgical mask, for as long as the integrity of the mask continues. At the end of the procedure, it's critical again to perform good hand hygiene. And because I've been wearing an apron and not a gown, I'm also going to just ensure that my forearms, which have been exposed, also get a bit of alcohol hand rub. So that is how to put on, don, and take off or doff personal protective, protective equipment, PPE, for the management of a patient with COVID-19. Thank you.